Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Almighty Zentaco. Uh, today, we're going to be learning how to do a simple little thing, uh, tracking missiles to a target. Now, I don't have a lot of time today, so I'm going to just wing this. I haven't done this at all in advance. I have no idea what I'm doing, so keep that in mind when you watch this video. I'm probably going to have to go back a bit and edit things as we go. I've been really busy. Um, I'm studying for my M MCSA. So uh, these videos are going to be less and less frequent. I'm going to try to get at least one out a week, but unfortunately, no promises. Okay, so first things first, as always, we're going to make a new project. Boom. Um, so this is going to be, like I said, tracking missiles. So we're going to need to insert an active object. Okay, so this first object is going to just be the thing that gets uh, blown up. We're going to control, click, and drag. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these. Let's actually increase the size of our frame to give us more real estate to uh, play around with the movement of our missile. So we're going to make this application 1280 by 720. And yes, we want to enlarge the frame. Boom, there we go. All right, let's, uh, let's throw these things around. Okay, so now we need a missile object. Let's go ahead and insert one now. Boom. We're going to name this missile. Missile. And I'm just going to make this... Got to resize everything. I have to uh, record my videos in 1920 by 1080, but my monitor is 4K. So I have to always resize everything whenever I start recording, and it means everything's the wrong size. It's all kind of out of proportion and in the wrong spot. A little bit annoying. Okay, so I'm just going to make this a solid color. Unfortunately, there will be no art for this. Sorry, guys. I'm going to elongate this to the right. Because we're going to want this to match the angle of where we're facing. It's a huge missile. Let's shrink that down a bit. Um, and so this is like the, the proper default angle because we want the nose, this section here, to be pointing at our target. If we had the angle different, it would actually, it might be the back that would be pointing or maybe the center, and that's not what we want. So we're gonna have it face the right because this is angle zero, okay? So we want to have our object facing angle zero, which is to the right. Now, since we're gonna be using the physics object, we need to center the hotspot, which it is centered, so we're good. Let's go ahead and right click and insert the physics object because that's how we're gonna do this. Where is it? Where is the physics object? There it is, physics engine. So throw that in here. This physics engine is very powerful, can do all kinds of cool stuff. We're just gonna use it to uh, make these missiles fly. Okay, I also do not want this to create at start because we only want these missiles to show up whenever we spawn them. So uncheck create at start. And uh, we need to tweak the movements. It's currently set to static. We want it under physical movements static. So physics, static movement. We also want to tweak the gravity scale on this object to zero. We do not want it to be affected by gravity. But let's make it a little more dense, probably something like 50. All right, let's do some stuff. Um, I don't know if we need any IDs. I think we can get away without having IDs. Let's find out. Let's, um, let's create this whenever we click. So we'll go to the mouse and we'll say user clicks. And that's with the left button and a single click. When that happens, we're going to create the missile. Just, just stick it somewhere off the frame because we're going to reposition it. And then go to the missile, select position, set its X coordinate to two, and type this in, X mouse, which is the X position of the mouse. And then we are going to set the Y coordinate to the Y mouse, which is obviously the Y position of the mouse. The missile will be created at the mouse. All right, let's 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 try to get away with this in a single event. I think we can do an always event. Now, I'm pretty sure that um, Fusion will intelligently pick a new target for each one that's created. I'm not sure, we're gonna find out. So after we uh, create this, we're going to do this. We're going to change the angle so set the angle of this object to, um, let's go to position, angle of a vector. And for the uh, x of a point and y of a point, we are going to grab the x position of our active that we're trying to hit and the y position of our active. So now he should be facing one for maximum quality. Now he should, the missile should be facing one of these targets. We also want to move it towards that target. So we will say movement, uh, physics, 
client impulse. Let's give it something very small, like one. And the degree uh, angle is going to be the angle of our uh, missile. So go to angle, get angle, boom. <clears throat> okay, let's destroy these whenever they hit the active. So we will say uh, missile collision overlapping another object and that's gonna be the active object. When that happens, we destroy both of them. All right, let's run it and hopefully it worked and then I can go do other things with my day. <laughs> Okay, so as you see, it does seem to work. Not perfect though. Let's let's do something else. Let's see what happens if we spawn multiple missiles at once. Also, these missiles are really long. I'm going to shrink them down. All right, so when we click the button here, we're going to start a loop. This is the best way to spawn multiple objects and set them up all at once with the least amount of effort. So we're gonna start a loop and I'm gonna call it missiles. Uh, we're gonna run it five times because we wanna create five missiles. So now we're going to say on loop missiles. Uh, what we're going to do on loop missiles is the same thing we did here on line one. We're going to create the missile. So I'm just going to drag that down and then we're going to set its position to the mouse. Drag that down. Now I need to delete these things here because we just want to run the loop whenever we click. Make sure that we are creating it first, which we are. Now this is going to create five missiles when we click. Let's see if they all target something different. And they did. Look at that. Boom. That's pretty, that's pretty intense. Let's, uh, let's change the frequency from always to something else. Let's say uh, every five milliseconds. So now we're going to track less frequently. Might make them slower too. Yes. Let's find out what happens when we uh, periodically create new targets to, to shoot at. So we'll say uh, every, we'll make it every one second. And we're just going to create one of these actives, throw it off the screen. Then we need to set the position to a random value based on the size of the frame. So go to position, set X coordinate. We'll say random frame width. Oops, wrong, wrong thing there. Uh, and then uh, we're going to set the position, the Y coordinate to random frame height. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens when we get random new ones yeah the biggest flaw i can see with this as it is is when new objects appear it switches targets so let's go ahead and set up a static target for these dudes that shouldn't be that bad we're going to, need to do a few things here so we don't need an id value but we're going to need to have on our missile a value called target what we're going to do is we're going to grab the uh, actual IDs of these, the built-in IDs, and we're going to plug them in. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out if under the missile, if the alterable value of target equals zero, and that's true whenever we have not had anything targeted yet. So what we want to do is very simply go to alterable value, set the target and go under the active that we're going to target and retrieve the fixed value. So we're going to plug in a fixed value for that. Now we also want to make sure this only happens once because we don't want to retarget when new stuff appears. We only want to go after the initial target. So we're going to insert another stipulation here and that is going to be that the alterable flag zero is off and then on this event we want to set um, sorry, go to the flag, alterable flags, and um, set on flag zero. So this will only run once. So it's gonna run when the flag is off and we're gonna set it back on and we're gonna plug in the fixed value. Now we actually need to track. So we're gonna do this um, based on a timer so that we can kind of control how quickly the missile moves. So we're gonna say every, and I'm gonna make this every three milliseconds. And what I'm going to do is do a for each loop. So that is under the missile object. We're going to go to count for each object. And I'm going to call this track. Okay. Now, we need to do something on that loop. So that is under the missile again on each object. Type in the name of our loop, which is track. So what we're going to need to do on this is um, 
this here. Uh, this always event where we're tracking, we are gonna do that here. So pull it on down and go ahead and delete this always event that it did the initial tracking because we're not using that anymore. We're gonna use an, an on uh, a for each loop. We also need to find out if under the active, compare it to a fixed value. We're gonna find out if it's a fixed value equals under the missile, the value of target. So we're gonna make sure that each uh, missile is essentially heading towards the proper target. Let's check it out. Okay, so they go after their targets directly um, and they, uh, they don't change once a new target appears. So they're just after those targets. Now, if there are no targets, they do kind of spaz out a little bit. So we would probably want to destroy them or not allow you to shoot missiles when there's no targets. And we could do that this way. We would say, um, so when we start the loop to create them, user clicks with left button, we would say, let's add a stipulation. Let's find out if there are any targets. So go to the target uh, object and we're gonna find out its count. So look for pick or count um, compared to the number of objects. And the objects is greater than, we're gonna say one, but you can put in any numbers. So like, let's say you didn't wanna be able to fire missiles until you had a potential target for each missile. You can make that the same as your number of missiles that you are going to fire. Let's run this. Okay, so it won't shoot when there's nothing, but as long as there's more than one, it'll fire. All right, guys, so that is our tracking missiles that go straight after our targets. Um, hopefully this wasn't too confusing for you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below as always. And uh, if you want some more robust help, pop into my Discord channel. There are lots of people in there who would like to help you out. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. And until next time, have a great one. Hey everyone, this is a test. My name is Josh and I'm gonna drink some really old water. Here we go. Mmm. That was a poor decision.